What is going on everybody? It is your boy Pete. Today we're going to be looking at physical and chemical changes. I hope you guys are excited because this is pretty exciting. And so let's just dive into this topic. So a physical change is any change in physical properties. And you're asking yourself, hey Pete, you haven't even told me about physical properties yet. I have no idea what physical properties are. Well, if that's what you're asking, why don't you just go check out A3's video on physical properties. It also has chemical properties there too. Okay, so once you're done with that video, come back to this one and continue on. So again, a change in a physical property is considered a physical change. A change of phase also is a physical change. So if we take a look and my favorite liquid, that yellow one in the middle, and we evaporate it, we have a physical change. Although there, a phase change occurred, the same molecules comprise the gas form. A physical change is when we leave the internal structure unaltered. So, although it's a change at a physical level, at an internal level, nothing has been altered. So now we're going to be looking at chemical changes. And now chemical changes, we do alter the internal structure. So first, we're going to look for a sign that some sort of reaction is taking place. One example is a change in color. We have an iron nail, for example, it's originally silver in color and over time it may turn reddish, a reddish brownish color and this is demonstrating that rusting occurred which is a chemical change. Iron was oxidized. Odor is another example where we can tell if a reaction is taking place. If we have an egg that smells bad, it's probably because it went bad. A chemical decomposition occurred, therefore it is a chemical change. Now you might be asking yourself, if you took a look at physical changes, you know these sort of sound like physical changes. But the, the key here is to remember is that although these can be physical changes, they can also be signs of chemical change. Like a color is a physical property if you saw the video. And a change in color would be a physical change, but it also could be a sign for a chemical change. Another sign for a reaction taking place is a change in temperature. Now a change in temperature could just mean a physical change. For example, if we take my if we take my liquid and raise the temperature, for example, that would just be a no chemical change would have occurred. But for example, say we have a reaction between two different compounds, then increasing the temperature will induce a chemical reaction and therefore creating a chemical change. So a chemical change is best found by finding a sign that a reaction took place or is taking place and also analyzing whether the internal structure of the molecule has changed. So that is all for this video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this two part series on chemical physical and chemical changes and physical and chemical properties. I'll see you guys later. Have a nice day. And as always, the more you know, the better you are. See you guys.